Hello, welcome to another Alpha Strike video in the series, and we're looking at aerospace units and particular lower atmosphere. Yeah, yeah lower atmosphere. And some uh, action, some attacking. Yeah, we're going to do air to ground stuff, and I think this time we'll do strafing and striking. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Strafing and striking. All right, <laughs> so Taryn's the brave uh, fighter pilot. Ching. And we've set up this little scenario here where he's just going to come in and harass these two fire mandrel mechs as they make Hopefully their way across one of them up. this board here. So we're going to mm. show you basically how the ground combat integrates with some aerospace assets. Okay, so these two maps here are actually from this set that we're using, which is a nice box set, this one. Um, one. Yeah, yep, very so nice. In here so, we have some... Um, Desert on there's the back. desert on the back here, yeah. so there's uh, they'll have both sides are matching what they match one another, but the hills and everything are laid out differently, so they're mm. two different styles. It's pretty good. Yep. Uh, so the way the way it works is so this is your standard BattleTech ground map. This is what you put your mechs on, as we've set out here, and then you have the same sort of mat, but it works at a different scale. So the one you've got in front of you, Taryn, we've got. We've marked this area in the middle, and mm. that hex represents this whole yeah. map. So what you can do, if you don't want to get too confused with things, is just have like a blank hex map, right? That'll let just blank hexes, nothing in it, and, yep. and you just pick which do ones whatever. the ground maps are on and just fly around. But you can also use these as like a larger scale versions. So these would be altitude three, Yes. Instead of level Instead three. Instead of level three. So you you'd any you big forests and big things and all that sort of stuff. So it would be a huge mountainous range thing and you're coming in on this one little valley that's in here. Which is this right. this area yeah. here, which is where the targets are. Yeah. So if you've got multiple sheets, so if you had say two map sheets together, you could put another marker, say there, and so that's one and that's, that's two. The, yep. Um You'd, you'd even be able to do that. So that's one and that's two. So you say one and two, two yep. and et cetera, et cetera. You'd be able to do whatever you wanted to do. Um, I like the six because yeah. I never roll them. I never. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I mean, the great thing about these mats as well is that uh, each of the little hexes has a designator. So you can just write down the, the number. Yeah, you as can well. just write the numbers down and, and work from there. Like it's that. not a big deal. Yeah. Um, but like little little counters are usually pretty yeah, good. So. You can get little little glass beads cats, and cats are good. <laughs> knock everything off. Uh dear. Uh, now, technically, at the start of the turn, I lose half my velocity, right? Okay. So yeah. yeah. So once once you've sort of gone into the low atmosphere, um, you just have to keep an eye on elevation. Yeah. Because you don't want to be too low, because you can crash, and certain actions can cause you to lose and gain elevation. elevation. Yeah. Yep. And it affects your velocity. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. So because of atmosphere, at the start of the turn. Aerospace or flying units, uh, not BTOLs and things like that. So no, but but conventional aerospace air, yeah, type conventional units. aircraft and things yeah. like that. Yeah, they will lose half of their current velocity. Which which I should have started at twelve, but I didn't think of that, so I'm going down to three. Yeah. Um, now technically, you've got so now we've got initiative, so we roll initiative. But I don't have any ground forces, so it's pointless. No. Um, you do movement phase ground. Yes. And then you do movement phase aerospace. As Adam said, there's no getting away from them. You, you can't get away. No. No. <laughs> so, so, boy can have a bark, and you can <laughs> decide where you want to put your units. You're just going to leave them where they are. I say, well, if we're going to do it, let's, let's just give you, see how much time you have for them to cross one board, because they're quite, they're quite fast. So what's he, seven? So let's have a look. We go one, two, that's level one, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice. Look at that. And we'll get him to run a bit lower. So we'll run, run through the valley there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So you've got. What do you go on here? So run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three. Seven, three. Six. Because you went straight over the top. Oh, you went. Oh, five, yeah, five. yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Five, so two. 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 There we go. 
Okay. Nice. Nice. So yeah, so you do your ground movements and then it goes to aerospace, aerospace movement. Movement. Now you've messed me up by not staying in a nice long line. You sod. <laughs> he says. Uh, so I'm going to spend three thrust to bring my velocity back up to six. I can do that, right? Yep. I'm still at altitude three and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. As long as I end my movement on this hex, yep. I'm over this map sheet, which is this map sheet. Okay? Yep. So this travels over. Boom. Now, I can't do a strafe, so I'm going to have to do a strike. <laughs> so a strike allows you to use pretty much all of your weapon types. You pick a one target in a hex, and you basically just shoot all your weapons. Yep. Everything you've got that you want to fire, you can just load it into one big attack. Yeah. So I've, I've come in from this, and I'm facing in that direction, which means I'm attacking from this direction. You're coming in from anywhere along this side yeah anywhere along this side and the attack yeah. direction is this way so yep. i can because the if I, you can do either a strafe or a strike yep i'll do a strike first and the next turn you can i'll line try, up i'll, I'll and try I'll and help strike. i'll try and help you out for the example because <laughs> we're, we're we're trying to do examples not win <laughs> he didn't say that <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to just like, oh, that's a nice pass. We'll just stick to that. That will we'll no just nice stand path. behind each other. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah. If there's aerospace on the map, split up. You split up. Don't be in straight lines. Don't be in big groups because they will mess you up. All right, so I'm coming this way. So I'm yep. just going to come in along here and I'm going to strike him. Yep. Nice. So from that direction, it will be a rear attack. Yes. Now, on the air-to-ground attack modifier table on page 243, striking has a plus two with a little note there. As noted under weapons and equipment, rapid-fire weapons always fire at their maximum rate, so players must check for jamming every time they fire these weapons. So, I don't have any rapid-fire weapons, but that's worth noting. Um, so, the strike. So, you're basically you're avoiding the range modifier. Mm. And you're just adding a plus two. It represents because your weapons are going to be in short range. They'll be, they'll be <laughs> in range. There's nothing <laughs> they can do about range. it. You can get multiple 18 kilometer hexes with these things. There's no way that yeah. the ground units can get away from you. So no, no. Um, you're just you're not going to be able to do anything about it. Um, so an attacker flying at altitude five or lower can make a precision strike on a single ground unit or ground hex, which means you can hit. A hex instead of a unit, which is good. Um, so you can hit buildings, woods, etc., etc. If you want to reduce cover and stuff, uh, the target must lie along the flight path. A strike unit, a strike attack reduces the attacker's altitude by one. Units flying at altitude one or nape of the earth cannot make strike attacks. A unit may fire one, some, or all of its weapons at the target except for bombs. And then you do your thing. So my gunnery would be a four plus my two is six. Mm -hmm. And then we modify for your move and all that junk, don't we? Yes. Okay. So he's not in woods and you've got a plus three. Uh, yeah. And the only uh, um, terrain that's in the hex that you're in applies. Yes. Unless right. they come in at level one and do a strafe, then they... They have to take into account the chasing hexes. But when you're doing these sorts of things, it's only what you're standing in. So if you're not standing in woods, you've got nothing. That's right, yeah. Um, which makes sense. Because they're, makes so, sense. they're so high up. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see how many of these I can do. So I'm going to fire with everything, obviously. Well, obviously, yeah. If you've got no um, issues from it. So i got two, four, six medium lasers. And what have I got? One's on the rear. So you got Oh, one's on the rear, yeah. So I've got five it, medium five lasers. Of those. So nines. Nines. So four, four six. No, yeah, yeah, nines. Just roll as normal. None there. None there. That's three. And then we'll do four, five, and the act ten. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, I got one. You got one. One laser hit. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, a two. <laughs> Well, we're just recording this. Come on, let's see what happens. <laughs> you're, you're floating Why can't crits this be or a you're proper on the um, Send a rear torso crit, I think, is yeah, probably my best bet. So that's okay. five damage to that. 
So he's definitely got armor. Uh, got nine one. is one. Yep, so upper lower. Upper lower. It'd be upper three. Three, which is an engine. engine. Pretty sure that's yeah, engine. Yeah, three. Yeah, three, yeah. Three. So he would have just so taken an engine hit. So he's running a bit hotter. But, which is not good for him. But no, but... Going. But yeah, I mean, if you had a really fast fighter that could then choose whichever angle it wanted to come in at, it mm. doesn't matter really which way you end your facing, unless you're trying to set up like a return fire, like to try and catch them or something, mm. you know, present a nice juicy target, but you've got to come through some stuff. Yeah. But with two, it's a bit harder <laughs> and you can't outrun them, but no. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, so we'll just keep going. So you've now dropped to two. Yeah, so that goes down. I lose one altitude. Yep. Yeah, lose one altitude. Yep. One yep. altitude, that's it. So I drop down to two, but my velocity is still there, but now yep. I have to sweep out and come back around. Yep. So, okay. and depending on what speed you're actually traveling, that will dictate what you have to spend mm. to do a facing change. Yeah, so I think like it's that. three thrust to do a facing change. So technically, this, I spend three thrust. Yeah, thrust yeah, there. when you're going at that speed. Yeah. So. So that's it. So you just clear the board again, and that's it. If you haven't got a lot of ground forces to shoot back at board or whatever, it can be pretty quick. Yeah. And the, the only way you can shoot back is if you're facing the direction that I'm coming from. So if any of them were facing back this way, they could have shot at me, but I don't think they can in this one. We're not, we're, we'll, we'll have a look at the return fire. Yeah, we'll do that later, later, just in case we'll I'm getting it wrong, because I haven't really read the bits. <laughs> so we'll try and move along here. So All right, so you do a that, bit of a move. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hopefully you can make it. I'll try and end in a straight line. I don't, I don't think I can make it without making it. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, All right, let's do it. So in atmosphere, you're only allowed to spend an amount. I think it's uh, equal to your maximum, right? That's, that's oh, your maximum most as, you as, yeah, as normal. But mm -hmm. yeah, you can't be going any faster than twice oh, your safe. Oh, speed. Right, yeah, that's twice it. Twice your yeah. safe okay. is your maximum. Velocity. Velocity. Yep. Okay, so at the start of the turn, mine would have dropped to three. Yep. And so velocity's dropped to three. It's one thrust to go up uh, an elevation. Correct. Uh, a uh, altitude, right? Yeah. So what I might do is, so I'm spending two per facing change. So I'm going to go one. So that's two, four thrust. Six. Eight thrust. Yes. So I have to make a roll, I think, there, right? No. 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 I can spend up to that. Okay. And then three. Okay. Okay. And I recommend you come in the other way. Yeah. So you can then. So do that the just other way the, around. Just do it the other way. Because I wasn't watching the ground map. I was trying to figure <laughs> out how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come in this way, yeah. and we're going to do a strafe down Correct. here. Right, That'd okay, cool. Go. <laughs> <sighs> See, this is, you, you come here for this, because we didn't set this up beforehand, and we probably should have done. Um, All right, so that's it. So you've manoeuvred round, and yep. you now pick a flight path, as you did before. So we've come along here, and just just so lucky that they've lined up for you. It's, just, wow. it's like it was wow. meant to be. So when you do a strafing run, you are allowed to use any or all of your direct energy or pulse weapons. Yes. Right? You're not allowed to use ammunition-based weapons because what you're basically doing is picking five hexes consecutive in a line and you're shooting at everything in those five hexes. Friendly stuff included, so be careful with that. Um, I think it's the way the beam sort of, maybe it <laughs> does a bit of a choppy thing going on, you know. <laughs> it's basically just flying down there with the fingers on the buttons and going, <laughs> and then seeing what you hit. Or well, as we like to call it, Hollywood mode. <laughs> <laughs> the bangity bangity mode. That's right. So one, two, three, four, five. 
Right, so if any of my friends were in those five, then I hit them as well. You have to attack. You have yeah, to you attack, attack everybody in yeah, those five. Yeah. So they have to be consecutive and they have to be along your flight path. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, be careful with the with the picking of the spots. <laughs> this can be quite time consuming as well. So that's another reason why I say yeah. spread out because otherwise you just, so few your, units can get shot. You're Up making five units. It's so, it's horrible. Yeah. You're making attacks against every uh, unit in that line. Uh, so you need to be aware. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, so there's one, there's two, there's three, uh, there's four, and there's five. All right, All right. five medium lasers. So, strafing is at a plus four. Um, aerospace units flying at altitude one, maybe the Earth, also suffer a plus two, two hit modifier as described in the movement. So when you're flying that low, you have a targeting modifier yeah. for everything, basically. Yeah. Um, but you're not at that level, so no. that's good. You've been, yeah. you've been at as low as he wants to be. As is as low as I want to get. Yeah. So units flying within three altitudes of the ground on a low altitude map, or within three altitudes of the ground if the unit is flying directly on a ground plane area. So we've covered this kind of before, and I think somebody asked a, comment, uh, asked a question about it, but you can technically put your, your aerospace units on the ground maps, but they move like exponentially faster on yeah. these than they do on these. Yeah. It's a lot harder to do. You need a lot more space, but you can do it. So um, one one velocity is eight. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it was eight. It's wasn't it? yeah. yeah, it's huge. It's ridiculous. They go so fast. Um, there's... Yeah, unit making this type of attack chooses from one to five consecutive hexes along the attack path. We're trying to teach you, not just have fun. <laughs> These hexes must lie in a straight line. Fire one, some or all of your direct fire energy and or pulse weapons when strafing. Player must roll for every target, hostile or friendly, in all of the chosen hexes. Uh, plus four, separate two hit rolls for each weapon against each target, which is why it can take a while. Yeah. Um, use the column of the appropriate hit location total and etc. They take into account only the terrain in the target's hex unless you're flying at altitude one. Then you take in the directly next to them. And if you're at altitude one, they can slip into what they call a dead zone. So that's a level two uh, hill. Yeah. So if I was strafing across here and they the earth and there was one mech standing there, he'd be in a dead zone. I wouldn't be able to shoot him with the strafe. Mm. Okay, so take that into consideration. But I'm within three. I'm moving across this way. I've got those lined up. I've got my five. So let's work out the target numbers. Eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten. They're the same. Ten's across the board. Yep. Yeah. And yep. they're not in anything that blocks line of sight. There's level ones here. Yeah. But that's not going to affect because of the angle of attack. Yeah. So these guys are incredibly destructive, but it can get difficult to hit things if you don't have a decent piloting. With just a four gunnery, with the modifiers and things that you're doing, because you're going so fast, right? Pretty much, yeah. So let's see, five lasers. Ooh, I got one. Oh, wow. Good Lord. Yay. Look at me going, I got close with a couple. <laughs> close with a couple. All right. So he would get five points on his right hand side. Which well, is... this would be the front, wouldn't it? Oh, that counts as front, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, 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 the yeah. front arc. So, Sorry, yeah. so just in the front, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's only five points, so he's okay. Yeah, so he'd yeah, take so there. five points on the right torso. Even then, yeah, that's fine. Um, bearing in mind, he's already got an engine hit. And then I'm hitting the other dude at the hands as well. Wow, oh, come on. Well, that's suspense. <laughs> All that suspense for nothing. I got one. You got one. I got one. All right. Well, consistency. Consistency. Four. So that would be five points on the right arm. Ooh. Right torso take that. on one, right arm on the other. But, I mean, when you think about it, mm. if you had hit with all of those, you've got one unit doing, what was that, 25 potential points of damage to two units from one cost of energy. Mm. I mean, if you long range shot essentially, but yeah, you know, 
Yeah, the the modifiers for it are fairly high, but if you're already looking at good piloting on your aerospace fighters, which you should be, yeah, because you need a good pilot in there, then your gunnery will probably already be coming down a bit. So if you've got say a two or a three on gunnery in here, that that changes that number a lot. Um, there's no difference for altitude until we get to bombing. That that's a different thing, um, or speed. Right, so it's just that you are going so very, very fast that you're building up modifiers that are fairly high. Mm. So having a good gunnery will help a lot. Having your enemy line up in a nice, neat line will help a lot. That's right. Um, but even being able to pick... So like you've got some sort of assault force coming forwards and you can manoeuvre your dogfighters, manoeuvre your fighters around and bring them to the rear of basically anything on the board. And that's not nothing. No, that's right. Uh, if, if you can get a strike in against someone from the rear, basically every turn or every second turn with something like this, this is a, a fairly standard-ish type thing. A 6-9 is not bad. You can get a lot faster with a lot more energy weapons or with more energy weapons. Yeah. Um, but you can also get around the same with more like damaging stuff um there's the options are there and they're basically limitless uh if you can wrap your head around how aerospace works yeah <laughs> look if you've got the space to actually maneuver these on the map you can give that a go you know but mm. you're talking probably like th at least three wide and three long maybe even four uh, long yeah. you know that's the, like the minimum sort of thing yeah this yeah. this just works out to be a lot easier and there's nothing to say that, you know, because you've got a lot of models, they might not all fit on this, I reckon, in bigger hexes anyway, so we play on. Mm. But, you know, you could then lift this off and put it on the edge, you know, because you know where you are there. If you're on this board, you're on that one. If you're on that board, say we've got another board, you just whoop, whoop, mm. and then you just do your runs, you know, because eventually if someone starts taking air power, yeah. you're going to start looking at it more and it just sort of, the combined arms thinking just sort of starts happening when you sort of want it to or not. I guess. Yeah. That's what I've discovered with it. So, but it is pretty cool. So, you know, three, three or four rounds of these are, this is definitely a fast unit and that's quite fast too. Mm. The six, nine. But uh, he's, he's taken an engine hit with almost no chance to shoot back. And you could try shooting back, but like I say, we'll go into that later. That's right. But yeah. you, you got just, yeah. And every single turn, basically, if you're keeping your velocity and, and watching your manoeuvring and stuff, you've got damage coming in. It's it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. It, it is difficult to wrap your head around sometimes, though. So well, that's good. No, I think mm. it gives it gives you some idea. Look, there's 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 other aspects to it, but we're just touching on it right now, just to see, just to give people an idea of what to expect and sort of how the, the flow goes and things like that. Mm. But uh, I think in the next video, we will talk about return fire and we'll also probably touch on dive bombing as well. That's, yeah, that's bombing is, one, is, a, is a big one. So yeah, so we'll look at that. So that's the end of this video, but um, yeah, look out for the next one in the series. If you subscribe, you'll get notified. You'll, you'll know when it happens, good. yeah. That's it. Click the bell and, and buy keeps or whatever the hell we're doing now. Back at Patreon. Alright people. Thank you. Bye. Bye guys.